either demonstrate today the using the iPad with VoiceOver. And <clears throat> so I'm going to start. Hopefully, you'll, uh, I'm going to actually there's going to be some visuals hopefully up on the screen, but you'll be able to hear everything that I'm going to do. I'm just going to start by unlocking it. Six forty-nine. Yeah, tell me the time. Okay, we're, we're running out of time, right? <laughs> so what I'm doing here is I'm just actually swiping one finger across the screen and it's moving from one end to the other. So if I swipe it to the left, one thing off is 20 minutes. And I do it again, 649. it goes to the time. 649. It, goes, it, it does a little dump. Three lock. Oh, it just locked. Okay. 649. <clears throat> so you'll hear a little thump when 649. That little thump means you can't go any farther. So if I keep going to the unlock button, one thing on the twenty minutes. Swipe it to the right. Unlock button. And I double tap. Double tap to open. Great. It unlocked, and it gave, brought me to the main screen of my iPad. And what I can do with this is just use my finger to move around the screen to see what icons are here. YouTube. Double tap to open. Calendar. Contacts. Notes. Maps. Videos. Double tap to open. Settings. App Store. One Good. So it's not only telling me what the icons are, but it's actually telling me how to access them. So I double tap to open the, I the application, which means take one finger and tap twice fast, like this. So you can change the contrast. For me, it's a little easier to, to work with a device that has reverse contrast. And I've, I've set my iPad so I can do that very simply by tapping my home button three times. Okay, and now I can actually see the icons on my screen. I can't read what they are, but I can see them, so I can actually go to one. Calendar. Double tap contact. No. Just by Double tap to so open. Those I actually have moved my finger from one place to the other just by um, just by seeing those. But so some of the applications that I really like to use on my iPad. Dot. Of course. IPod. My iPod. Double tap to open. IPod, volume, 100%, adjustable. What do I use my iPod for? I listen to music on my iPod, I listen to my audiobooks on my iPod. It's really, it's become a, a, my iPad, excuse me. And what's, what's interesting about this, and this is something that I've noticed is different from my using the iPhone with voiceover, is that I, the iPad has a panel on the left side, which is kind of a navigation panel, so it gives me like, the basic navigation areas inside of my iPod, like... Like Gussie Sidebox Selection, Classical Music, Gussie Sidebox Music Videos, My Top Rated, Music Videos, Gussie Sidebox Music Videos, My Top Rated, On The Go 1, On The Go 2. These are all different playlists that are in my iPad, on the, in the iPod section of my iPad. <laughs> And so I'm going to go to one. Three times. Yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> so I'm going to go one to my top twenty, uh, my top twenty-five most played songs. Movies like this: K7, Sweet Madness, Sweet, Blind Your Blind, Dirty Talk, Telephone, Lady Gaga. And now, as I'm listening to the music, I can uh, see what audio books I have. I got it. Classical music. Audible. Audible. American Top. Underrated. Here's a book that I like to read. It's called American Gods. So now, I, want image. I can stop and start my book just by double tapping with two fingers. So I take two fingers just like I did before to unlock or to open an icon. I can double tap to start and stop my music. Or my own Yes. I bought a box and Robert Ludlum. Uh, a couple of other applications that I like to use my iPod. I have search. Search I have. Page one, page two or two. Okay. Uh, you can move, you can have multiple pages of icons or of applications on your iPad and you can move to each of these pages by swiping with three fingers to the left or to the right. So now I'm on page two. Pandora. I have okay. something called Pandora, which is a really cool um, radio station building application which is not accessible to people who are blind on the PC, but it is accessible on the iPad and on the, um, on the iPhone. So I can go into there. Pandora, audience, correct radio, correct radio. Whatever this is. Correct radio, 
for Rocky Radio. What I love about this particular software is you put in your favorite song and the software actually creates a station, a radio station of music for you to listen to. And these applications are all free. I I like radio, Netflix. Right? They're free. Uh, obviously, you have to have a Netflix account to be able to use it, but the application to have it uh, streamed to your iPad is totally free, so you can do that. The same thing with Pandora, that's a totally free service, and, and that music that you heard just a couple of seconds ago was streaming live from the internet. But uh, my last thing I'm going to show you is, uh, yes, uh, is what Catherine was showing you earlier, which is called Notes. One thing that I've been using the iPad for is a note taker. I take it to meetings. My, my colleague Lynette took it to a class the other day and she took um, the notes from the class on there and, and we're able to do that really easily. Page one and two, calendar, comp notes, notes, notes. Page three, calendar, comp notes, calendar, comp notes, calendar, comp notes, calendar, comp notes, And the way we're doing it is we actually have a wireless Bluetooth keyboard that's connected to this device so that I can type, um, I can touch type using a keyboard rather than using the virtual keyboard that's on the screen, which is also quite usable but not as fast as I'd like to go. So I'm going to just create a new note. Search, notes list, office set, Augie, 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 Text field, is that you? Augie, Augie, on. Okay, so I just clicked on the add button and um, and it told me it's in the text field and it's ready to be edited and I'm going to start typing and I'm not going to talk for a minute. New talk and talk here. Dear Gordon, new mind thank you for the opportunity to give this presentation. Wow. Really cool. Yeah. Another thing that's really cool is now that I'm done writing my note. Previous note, email, button. I can email it to somebody, so I'm going to email it to Dory. Is that you? D R U S T O N Josh, L-I-G-H-T-H-O-U-S-E, period, L-R-G. Two, send, select, two, Josh, at my dot text, two, send, selected, button. Four notes. You'll hear a note. Uh, did you hear that little whoosh sound? Yes. That means the email went out. Oh. So my email just got sent and Dory should have it in her inbox when she goes back to her desk. So, it just came to my iPad. Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> As a matter of fact, thank you, Dad. Yeah. So, there you have voiceover on the iPad. <laughs>